Okay, everyone's favorite. Another drop shot video. We started already? Yeah, we started. Ah, okay. <laughs> now listen. Then the guy, let's say, opens the course for you. Yeah? And he's very far away from his position. So you are going to do it. Now, when to do a drop shot? For example, if the ball that you are receiving is higher. I cannot. <laughs> higher as in, doesn't need to be here. Even here. It's difficult. You can, of course. Some people manage. Sometimes you will manage. But to me, to select even better, yes, if the ball is high, then it's a better chance to play to the fence because you have the angle to play to the fence or play to the middle short enough that it doesn't give rebound. Yeah, so basically, the ball is above the net. You should maybe keep playing sharp. Mm -hmm. But if the ball is dropping, yeah, by the time it gets to you or it's softer, then it's a good time to do the drop shot. Now, I want you to think this way. You might have your own technique, but I don't want to see what sometimes I see with recreational players. Drop shot, yeah, drop shot, yeah, and then the ball bounces behind them. It's more simple than that. We prepare the same as we always do. The knuckles are facing the camera. When you shoot the ball, knuckles, knuckles facing the, the roof. The ceiling, yeah. The ceiling. Okay. Let's start with that ceiling. And remember, the drop shot needs to go up. Yeah, the drop shot needs to go up. The key for a good drop shot is that when it bounces on the other side, it doesn't bounce towards the player, but instead it, it bounces stays. and stays, or even better, bounces towards the net, so away from the player. But the ball has to go up, because one of the mistakes, can I have that ball? One of the big mistakes that I see when people try to do a drop shot is that, of course, you got, you got to put it you got to place it closer to the net. But they do it so like hey, that it doesn't even reach the net. So it's stupid. You have to go up to then the ball bounce. And hopefully it has enough backspin to stay there or even better to bounce even closer to the net. So let's see how you do it. defense out of position. If they get there, well, you have created new gaps, you have created a lot of stress on the opponents mm. and a lot of physical damage as you make them constantly move forward, move back. Sometimes they will not get there, but then it's a winner. But first, the drop shot is a change of pace. It's not a winner. It's a change of pace, and if you do it very well, it might become a winner. So knuckles up on backhand. Then if I do it on forehand, how would you? Well, what, do you have knuckles here? No, no but that's so why I'm asking. Have, well, okay. Palm. Palm, yes. Yeah, you say hello, and then you ask for money. But when you want me to ask for the money, the elbow still stays close. 